a little just slightly more structure because we're starting to grow there's actually over 100 people on the her power moves book club we grew by like 30 in the last month we had like 70 around our last meeting and then another 30 folks have joined online so they join to get the updates and the information and then we'll just see who comes but we have a little over 100 people in the her power moves book club right now and so to the extent that we grow it probably just to keep things manageable i'm just like okay we'll have a little bit of structure but we have really great conversations i think we all really enjoy the conversation and of course so today i put because it's our business because that's of course tabitha's tagline on the book and the purpose of Her Power Moves Book Club, as I mentioned, is to, it's to read books that power our success. Success is defined individually, so I do not define what that success looks like. Um, we all define that individually, what makes sense for us. But there is a, a method to the madness to the books that I've chosen, and I would love if you have books that you really believe that we should read, please suggest them to me. They all fall within one of four categories and some overlap. So strategy, which you can see the definitions are to the right of what that means. So books that give us a strategy, a plan for a specific outcome. It could be in business or something else within our lives because we're whole women. This is a holistic book club, right? The second is tactical skills. That's thinking through the actual nuts and bolts of a book that says, first you do A, then you do B, then you do C, then you get X, Y, Z outcome. Mindset, which is sort of how does it change the way we think about the world? And inspiration, which I think is self-explanatory and which I think Tab's book falls really into, but I'm looking forward to us talking about that. So when, when you see the books that I've chosen and when you um, give us suggestions for books, please keep that in mind. It's not about the topic. It's not about the author. It's about the value it brings within one or more of these four categories that we can then, you know, just kind of incorporate into our lives and have really robust conversations about. Does that make sense, Dapos? Do you have any additional thoughts on that? Any questions? Anything that should be added that I'm not thinking of just, just, just categorically? So thanks to Jackie. Jackie shared this little bit with us. That is so today. funny. <laughs> and I love her. So today we are reading Tabitha Brown's Feeding the Soul. Um, quick question, because I think almost everybody has been to the, was at the last meeting and possibly some before that as well. Do you have any thoughts from any of our previous meetings or anything that maybe you got an aha about after the meeting was done that you'd love to to start our conversation with and then we'll move on into tab nope okay <laughs> so i'm gonna stop sharing screen but um i thought we could just sort of start the conversation with her own tagline not that besides it's because it's my business but the name of the book is feeding your soul finding our our way oh i said that wrong i say your so right now redwood books is currently online and also a pop-up um so every weekend i'm somewhere new um that was her here in her power space right? yes that was me there yep yep <laughs> Um, tomorrow I'm in Pembroke Pines, so every weekend I'm somewhere popping up to any event, whatever um, anyone calls me, I curate collections to suit whatever environment I'm in. Um, I have access to probably every title, unless it's a rare book um, that you could possibly think of. So if it's not on my table and it's not on my website, people send me emails and ask me to order it for them, and I can go ahead and do that. So. Um, for Margo, if you see something or think of something that's not on the website, my email is at the bottom of the page, the website. You can just shoot me a message and I can get um grab that book for you. Um, but at the core, Redwood Books, it's it's a community bookstore, of course. I want to exist in the environment that I'm in and you know, cultivate a culture of um representation and acceptance. So I, I try to carry a little bit of everything. Um, but 
the other piece that we're working on, we as in me, myself, and I, um, (laughs) (laughs) the other piece I'm working on is um, our nonprofit piece. So that'll be coming down the line too, because I want to be able to give books to children so I can start building those home libraries one book at a time. Um, So that'll also be coming down the pipeline. So just just a little bit of it. And it, it comes from my love of literacy and my belief that all children love to read and those children that love to read turn into adults they love to read and um being able to make sure that those babies get those books in their hands is really where it came from and being a teacher for 20 years mm. it was a, it's a no-brainer a no-brainer you you see the need when you work with these children and it, when your heart's in it you know just as um, Natasha was saying you you want to help that's what teachers do so this this was my way of trying to give back as best as I can and it's um beautifully been expanded into more than I could have ever thought. I initially went into it, I'm going to sell children's books, you know, all baby books, you know, love kids. And it just turned into more than that. And I'm very thankful. I'm very blessed and appreciative for, you know, any little bit of information I get and people I meet and I'm still going. It's it's a wild ride. So (laughs) I'm enjoying it. Yes. So to the extent that we're able to purchase hard books, um, while I can't tell you where to go, trust Amazon links will not be in anymore. And, and Shahida knows this. She's like, Michelle, thanks for the link. We don't see Amazon links in the emails anymore when I send out what our next read is going to be, which is when Natasha's waiting on her next live for me to say what our next read is. <laughs> so our next read is, drum roll please, your choice. Okay, so we have three books here. We're going into January. And as I said, we don't only read women authors. We don't only read Black authors. This is about diversity of thought and our success. Mm -hmm. So they need to fall into the four categories. It's not so much about who wrote the book. Okay, so the first one is something called Atomic Habits by James Clear. This falls into both strategies and tactics. He literally helps you take tiny changes to make big changes in your life through habit formation, as well as getting rid of habits you may not want to have any longer. And also, side note, I check with Shahida ahead of time. She can get all three of these books for us, okay? The second one is called Your One Word. This is by Evan Carmichael. He he has the Believe Nation, Believe YouTube channel. He has spent like literally thousands of hours pulling together very, very inspirational information from different people who are at the top of their fields. And this is a book where going into January, hey, how many of you do do this? Do you set a word for the year? I think, Lolo, you do this, right? You set a word for the year. I do. I do too. Yeah, right? So with this book, he helps you understand why it's important, then gives you real world examples from different businesses about like honest company. Honest is their word, right? But then also teaches you how do you, what's the thought, what are the thought exercises? What are the, what are the strategies and the tactics to go ahead and then set that word and then walk out what that word is for you? It's not in his case about just for a year, his word is believe, right? And he talks about how he got to that word and what that meant. But then he also brings in real world examples from both the economic and and business perspective, as well as personal perspective. And then Elaine Welterworld, Um, she is more than, she wrote more than enough, which is her memoir. Elaine was the youngest editor and the first black woman ever and youngest editor of Teen Vogue. Um, and um, she's all over the place right now with her baby mom, and um, this is her memoir, so it's about how she was born in Cali and the child of biracial parents and what her life became, where she's at the pinnacle of her career, and she might even be going more. I don't want to claim her pinnacle for her, so these are three books um, that are options, and we can choose from these, or if you have a book that you believe we should read. I tried to come up with some things that kind of are great to kind of